Hello, everybody. Welcome to our stream tonight. Okay, give me just one second. Just check out something real quick. This is all set up. So it seems our lobby here is a little, little empty. Whoa, it's a little loud for me. So I was able to check out in my, I think I showed this off before. I don't think I used this last stream. That I got able to get a new uh, wireless GameCube controller, like an official one. So my my uh, my my little dongle does still work. I was excited to see, hear about that. So last time here on the stream here, we f cleared out the Shadow Pokemon, the Shadow Pokemon Lab, uh, the, Sh the Shadow Pokemon Factory is what it was. Hello, Nurse Aqua. How are you doing today? Here's our, our loadout of, of team members here, doing rather well for themselves, I think. I think I got Pokemon in the Purify Chamber. I do. So we have to be cure, pure in the, pu purifying and purifying their hearts. Uh, what's Charlotte's moves again? I want to look at these real quick. This might seem kind of dumb, but I think I'm actually going to... Oops, not the move deleter. I might actually... I was sleeping on it a little bit. I might actually go ahead and teach Charlotte string shot. It feels really strange to do that, but it I, I feel like I've got the points. Only other thing I really probably teach was something like maybe d double team, and I don't know if I want to do that. Wait, I have to delete a move? Okay, so we're going to get rid of refresh because... The, Charlotte can't get poison, so it's only burns, which I don't think it would live a burn anyway, and paralysis, which I feel like, why waste a turn doing that? So it's like, I don't know. And again, a lot of these XD exclusive moves won't keep in the newer generations anyway, so I'm not really as worried about that. So we'll get rid of it, for, refresh for string shot. It seems really dumb to say. Now it's my turn. But I think in a game full of double battle, string shot could have some some use. It feels weird to do it, but I feel like it could have a, have some use. Not a lot of use, but like it would patch up our speed by making the enemy slower than us. I was a little late myself, by the way. Hi, Sora. How are you today? I was a little late myself because. Uh, uh, It's in a double battlefield game. It's not a bad move. Like if it was a single battle game, I'd probably go for scary face over string shot. But since string shot actually in double battles hits both opponents, speed dropping both of them at once is not a bad play. Honestly, if any of these Pokemon actually had Leer, even things like Leer could be pretty helpful, or even Growl. It seems weird to say, but in a double battle focused game, the status moves have a pretty good buff when they can hit both targets. One might argue that, like, agility on Charlotte might be better, or scary facing the opponent would be better, but I don't know. I feel like... I feel like String Shot will pull, will pull some weight. Maybe not a lot of weight, because Charlotte doesn't pull a lot of weight on her own, but... Oh, 
man. Storms. We had, like, a freaking snowstorm the last two days. Okay, so, actually, I don't know where we're supposed to go next in terms of anything, so... Oh, my drink is already almost gone. I should have got it under their cup. Did I ever get the get the, the? Oh, I did take the shadow token. Paint. I hope it had some serene grace. <laughs> so who has the? Keep that. I feel like money is such a rare commodity in this game in, in some ways. Until we get kind of tar uh, instructed of where to go next, I'm going to go ahead and put some pokey, stops, pokey, pokey spot foods out. Now, the cool thing is, now this would be really cool if we could get this... Uh, in the game. But these pokey spot stops... They have the very rare chance of, like every other Pokemon game, of having a shiny Pokemon in them. So, like, imagine how cool it would be to... Because you can't catch Shadow Pokemon that are shinies in this game. Not without, uh, like, exploits. The game is not designed to have uh, shiny Pokemon at all. Outside, at least for Shadows. So, it would be pretty cool to get a shiny Pokestop Pokemon. A nice, fond memory of this game. What I want to plan to do is actually keep the Pokemon that we have from XD and Colosseum and trying to slowly move them up into the more modern games. Like, if I can figure out how to transfer them correctly, I have to find my hardware and all that. I'd like to do a playthrough of Colos the Pokemon Battle Revolution with some of with the Pokemon from these playthroughs. I, think I thought that would be kind of fun. And then, after that, I really couldn't do anything else with them aside from console games, because I'm not good at those... I already have Pokebank, so Pokebank still works, if, but uh, you can't download it anymore. But Pokebank still functions. Sh Coliseum can have shiny Shadow Pokemon, which is kind of disappointing we didn't get any, but the odds are astronomically low. It would have had to have been super rare. Apparently I heard that Shadow Pokemon that were shiny were, were not was not intended. It was actually a design glitch. They were meant to be shiny locked and they didn't know how to do it, I guess. Okay, so let's start looking around. Zangoose. Right. Alright, now that we have some... What the? What is that? Okay, so our problem is we can't get to Citadel Dark Isle without having transportation through the ocean. I don't know what leads you here. Yo, Rumtato, big news, real big news. The Robo Kyogre we've been telling you about is finally done. I don't remember hearing about this. Once Grandpa got it, got down to it and got some got serious with it, he puts them together something kind of amazing. Over a little, little guy, he had to tell my grandpa. Ah, like Pierre said, we've finally reassembled or assembled the Robo Kyogre. It's truly a work of marvel. What's wrong? Is anything the matter? what have been happening to Macon and Pierre. Well, our B-Cypher headquarters on Cinder Dark Isle, and you tend to go there. Cinder Dark Isle, huh? Well, it's not a place like that, and it's no wonder nobody's found Cypher's base. The currents around the Isle are swift, and the weather is always storming. The place can't be approached by sea or air. Pierre, that was certainly true before, but now, however... I get it, Grandpa. The Robo Kyogre, right? How are you doing tonight, Tang, by the way? Precisely, Pierre. Our Robo Kyogre will be able to reach the Isle. Why did he turn to Professor Oak? All right, we must prepare for the launch Robo Kyogre for him. Come here. Yes, sir. Bro, he does look like Pro Rappa the Rappa. So this sounds like the battle against Cypher is really a critical stage. The thing I would like you to have. We go to the lab on the ground floor when you can see me. Blah, 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 blah. I wonder if this is what I think it is. 
Oh, there you are. Over this way, look at the beer. That is the Robot Kyoko. Does it its blue form thrill you? It's all ready to go. You can leave whatever you're you can leave whatever you're ready. Nice, thanks. There's nothing what you're running to consider here. You be careful. If the going gets rough, you can scoot right back away, okay? Don't try to overdo things. Oh yeah, new Pokemon is that a new merchandise. Stock on supplies before you go. Welcome. Guess while I'm here, I could probably purify the Pokemon that are uh, the, the Shadow Pokemon. Oh, Professor Crane. Hi, Rotato. I'm glad to see you back. There's something I want to give you, Rotato. Could you come over here, please? Okay, so the frog's not even real. Haha, <laughs> it startled you? Look at with me. How do you even fit there without hitting his head? RPG logic, I suppose. Remember, I'm over this way. Come with me, please. I don't want to go into the creepy, creepy man's basement. The battle against Cypher appears to have entered a decisive phase. I think the situation calls for a special solution. From Tato, there's something here I'd like you to use. Candy. Go on, open that box, take what's inside. A Master Ball. That's the Master Ball. It's the one Pokeball that is foolproof. It has 100% capture ratio. You should try to use it if you're sure that's the right thing to do. Keep at it! Unfortunately, there is no Pokeball glitch in this game where we can swap around and swap the Pokeball for the, mas like the Master Ball swap. Yeah, how much have we managed to snag? It's amazing you've already snagged 46! This page should be going you only far off, so all Pokemon are saved. How many are there? I think that's already more than the original game, if I'm not mistaken. How many more are left? So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 37 Pokemon left. Most of also like to sit on the floor. Fair point. Alright, so let's go ahead and purify who's here. Alrighty, so we've got Nose Pass. Thunderbolt and Helping Hand. Those are that's a pretty good one. Helping Hand is a really good call of scene exclusive move. All right, so what shall we call this Nose Pass? This fine fellow here. Nose Pass is also a Pokemon I've always really kind of liked the existence of, but never really felt like, never really used one because I felt like it never really fit a good niche. It also probably should have been Rock Electric, if I'm being honest. Then it evolves into a Rock Steel type. It makes even less sense. Or in Rocky. To be fair, Or kind of works in a sense, because that is the name of the region is. Well, it's just rock in this game. Considering how many electric type moves it has in its move set, it's really weird that it isn't electric type. True, compass could work, but he isn't. Well, all right, where, where's my letters? Move 
Moving down the line to the next one. We got the Puppers Growlithe. Compass. It's this game that makes me realize I think electric types aren't super great in Gen 3. In terms of coverage, they get electric and it's a flamethrower. Ooh. And charm. What are we going to call this cute little doggo? Also, isn't Gravel supposed to be a little more red than orange? <laughs> it's just so cute. Cat flamethrower. Yeah, they really gave it a good move. It has to compete with Volpex's uh, heat wave. I literally just let you outside. Please go away. Go to the bathroom. You've been inside for like 17 hours. <laughs> the derp dog. Hmm. I think it would work. It's not a name, just a classification. It's a pretty good one, Sora. Fire! <laughs> the Italian way. Fire! Okay, two more to name. What's next up? Yo, it's Zangus. You gotta do something good for Zangoose. True, his his fire coverage wasn't that great back in the day. The guy, refresh. It's kind of like redundant on a Zangoose. Let's see, what should we call her? Hello to you too, Ness. Welcome. Well, of course they're following Pokemon. Pokemon is pre it is the proven proven successful formula. The guy, the woman. <laughs> what is am I touching? Uh, this control thing. Prissy. <laughs> As shiny beasts. I didn't know how the, the Hogwarts game had like monster stuff. I like how Prissy feels as a as a name a little bit as opposed to just the woman. Hopefully one day we'll see some of these Pokemon again. Different parts of the channel maybe. Ah, uh, we've got Paris! <laughs> Priscilla? Ah, I see. Paris the Mad Lad. I'm gonna miss Paris's wild Shadow Blitz animation. Spore. Nice. Refresh. All right, so what should we call Paris? It's a girl as well. Hmm. Could go with a mushroom type of name. Toadette! <laughs> that actually works really well, honestly. Toadette's a good one. So that's all done. Let's go back in and put some more in there. Well, I think we have a few more shadows we could do. We have a lot more. Well, not a lot, a lot more. 
Uh, of course, it got hustle. Dang it. Oh well. Oh, I didn't know you could do it that way. Crap! This is still a damage buff, but man, if you're using physical attacks on a Togepi, that's pretty bad. Serene Grace would have been a lot better to have. I didn't realize it when I was setting that up the file. I, I would have reset before I had claimed the Togepi, but I forgot I had already done that. It's not a huge deal. No, but here's see, here's the thing. This Tokapi is is a pretty special one because this Tokapi gets the entirely exclusive move uh, from this game uh, that is uh, 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 try attack in a sense. So I believe what that does was it gives try attack a what a forty percent chance to cause a status effect. In this game, though, Hustle's fine. Togepi and Togetic are more of support Pokemon anyway, but, like, it's it's a bit of a shame for, f for future installments. But it's it's not that bad. It just, at worst, it just nullifies the use of fullness of an ability. So, we can depart for Citadark now, I believe. I honestly thought there was a notification that sent us to the pier, but I guess you're just supposed to go. Ride the Robo Kyogre. I love this thing. Yo, there's the villains themselves. Hey, you! The thing you're writing on. It's kinda cool. I have to think that I meant you to the port somewhere, but I don't give a hoot about that. No problem when someone shows up here without pass without passes on our boat. Ha <laughs> Absent. Oh, I forgot there was something I needed to do before we came here, but I'm, we're already here. We'll have to do it later. I am kind of sad, too, that we never did get another entry into this, uh, these spin-offs. Yo, that was a strong hit. So this voided I so far.
Man time. So the rain effects of this game are really good. I think I've heard you mention that before. I do not know what that is. Uh oh. Oh good, he went for the wrong. T he went for a bad target. Bora. Go duck. Shadow Gold Duck. To be fair, none of the rest of the Shadow Pokemon in the game are technically secret because we have the list of the Shadow Pokemon produced. Thunderbolts. Sable High. We gotta get Doki in here for the sleep. About time. Uh oh. Oh god. That's not good. Well, she he's po she's poisoned instead. Right, let's hope this is an overkill. I don't think it will be, but the crit Yeah, the unwanted crits. Oh well, it's not a huge deal. Get that nest ball out. first water type I think in quite a while well that's not true we had one near the beginning of the Citadel I'm oh, sorry of the Shadow Pokemon factory absent the kid's tough Sableye fled somewhere I gotta report this Struts away in the manliest strut.
Dragon Ball Kakarot. Because we have to find Mirror B. I mean, to be fair, is having an excuse to go see the man, the myth, the legend, Mirror B himself really that bad of a, of a thing? I think I, I see this as an absolute win. Spot monitor is responding. Got ourselves one at the Oasis. All right, well, I'll head over there in a second. I gotta heal up first. Wrong room. Sup, Nurse Aqua? I need a pick going up. Making a God's Blessing game? I've never heard of that. I tend to find a lot of games that seem to be have anything to do with a, like a Christian subject matter either or like really bad games or they're just complete satire. It's like it feels like it's never anything in between. What we got? Oh, isn't that Pokemon from the ship? Carefully approach it. Can't move. Um, did my controller die? No. Hey, hi, buddy. Capture Bonzi, let's return it to its owner. Yo, Rotato, it just figures. It would take you to find that lost Bonsley. No, I want it! I want it! Bro, this was one of the big problems I had with this game when I was younger. Is the fact that there was a whole new species of Pokemon, and you couldn't have it at all. We collected data using own BS's free source, but we couldn't find a trace of it. We sincerely appreciate what you've done for us. My granddaughter about you are overjoyed. See for yourself. Yeah, thank you. I believed in you. Something that stands for the gratitude. Please accept it. The Bonsley card? Special battle bingo card, you see. You can use it for the battle bingo games at the Belgium Tower. Is it an event? It's, it's an event? That's not open to everyone. Oh no, the receptionist will know what to do if you flash that card at the registration counter. She'll be able to enjoy battling with Bonsley. We must thank you again. We must be leaving now. I hate this. Bonsley, huh? It's the first time I've seen it. I guess there must be other Pokemon waiting to be discovered. Man, where did you did you see how happy those folks were? The old gent little girl and the Bonsley. Seeing them, it brought up a lump in my throat. Thanks for finding that Pokemon. Today we made the right decision asking you for help. I'm amazed at that. That Pokemon really was something we'd never seen before. The world is still a vast mystery. <sighs> Oops. The doctors, that's kind of alarming to say out of the blue. Yo, hello. When it's sunny, solar beam. When it's rainy, hydro pump. Pokey, pokey, Pokemon are so cute. Case of paralysis, paralysis heal. For sleepy heads, there's awakening. Pokey, Pokemon are so much fun. Feeling hungry, there are leftovers. And quench your thirst with Moo Moo Milk. Pokey, pokey, Pokemon bring so much joy. I hope you'll learn that song and sing along with me. There's no rhythm to that song. Please listen, it's my daughter singing now. Our Razzle and Dazzle were good, but Candy had it here as a spark of her own, too. What happened to Razzle and Dazzle? You 
been having trouble breathing at all? That's not good. I think I ate two pokey snacks that fast. Alright, so now I know where I go where I need to do before. We continue for any further into the plot. If we don't get another pokey spot monitor. And there's someone we gotta actually see. He said Well, we don't necessarily have to go see someone, we have to go somewhere. If I remember correctly. Let's, oh, I don't think this is Pokemon called the Steve I'm thinking of. It's still a shame that this battle stadium is out of is out of business. Like, what reason is there? Is Rogum Tower really that much cooler? F I, I always thought Phoenix City was a way cooler uh, location. There, that's item I'm looking for. Oh, wait. I'll see 44. That's not what I'm looking for at all. I mean, I'll need that later, but I thought that was something else. Is it around here? Oh, is this it? A water stone? Not what I'm looking for, but good to have. There we go. TM for Ice Beam. That's what I needed. Oh, there's another item over here. Because it turns out Cele the Celio line does not learn Ice Beam leveling up, which is really weird to me. It learns Blizzard, it learns Sheer Cold, Aurora Beam, Powder Snow, Ice Ball, not Ice Beam. Oh, you're here to battle? Sure. Stadium here has been closed down, but would you like to battle with me? We'll have to learn the place now. Let's do it, girl. Battle date, let's go. Equin. Oh, nice, Sora. Oh, they're way under leveled. This is gonna be a walk. No, you're good, Ramirez. How you doing? I mean, after two meetings, I guess you would be tired. That's rough, buddy. Spinda. Force photo is a subject? That's rough. This is what I understand of what you're saying to me. <laughs> Dude, I love how it actually works as an animation correctly. It's, it's so cool. That's part of the reason why I wanted to see if it would, if it would actually be a good move. Bro, I feel like Spin is a Pokemon you don't see people ever use either, because it's just not that good. Sweet scent? Uh... To be fair, on this move set, Sweet Scent does have a use, but honestly, in the main playthrough of this game, just calling is more effective for the playthrough. In the in the in the restricted Colosseums where you can't actually use the call command, it's not as good because you can't use it. But I don't think Doki would be good for those areas anyway. I think he'd get fired up without an audience. Doesn't it feel great to battle wide open like this? 
Beedrill's ready. Magneton. Shelter. I guess we can go ahead and take care of these Pokemon that are in the Purified Chamber while we're out and about. Bum, bum, bum. So has everyone been enjoying this playthrough? To be honest, it's a lot shorter than I remember, but this game's one of my absolute favorites from the GameCube era and Pokemon in general. And I feel so almost like ashamed that it's going by so quickly. Let's see. So we need some ideas for nicknames for Pedril. If it's a boy, I do have an actually good idea. Sludge Bomb. Baton Pass. Oh, it does have Baton Pass. Interesting. That's ah, a girl. Uh, oh, let's see. I was going to call it Yellow Jacket or Yellow Jack if it was been a boy, but I don't know if that works quite as well. He's kind of more like a feels more like a hornet than a bee, but or she does. I, don't know, I feel like a lot of my streams lately haven't had a lot of you guys in the stream, so it almost feels like people aren't as interested. Ugh. I'm I'm seriously considering swapping B drill in for Charlotte at this point. I'm not sure. I don't necessarily need to, but I the idea has come has crossed my mind. Uh, God, what is Barry? But it's a girl. Let me see. I want to check something. Vanessa. Vanessa could work. My only other thought was to use a like a like a bee monster uh, name, but I couldn't th see anything. Oh good, you I caught it. I didn't touch it. Crap. All right, who's next on the block? Magneton. Now I've always named like I, I like when I started nicknaming Pokemon like Magneton, I've always used like the names like Metallo. But I have different se several different versions of that Pokemon already. So do we go with Metallo still for the Oh, I have an idea that we could do so that we know which what which game it's from. I considered also using Magneton on the team. Uh 
But I also feel like I don't know if I want to use it. I, I'm having a little more time, fun with, uh, with, um, uh, with, uh, with, say, with Cell as my electric type. And since Magneton is going to have, of course, no steel pr stab, so it's mostly defensive. But Sora did give me a, an idea, so I can tell it apart from which game it came from. It just fits, too. And Shelter. Let's see. To be fair, the ability to use a, a Cloister would be pretty cool. But, uh... I don't know if Shelter would really cut it more than what we have. Plus, I've never really used a Wall Rain before, so that's, that's a fun level in itself. Take down. That's a weird move choice. Refresh. So what are we gonna name this this girl? Clumsy half boy. <laughs> Oops. Pearl's a good one. That's that's that is one that I didn't think of. Pearl could work. If the if you guys are both in agreement with it, this is what we'll do with. There's, these are some pretty good ones, honestly. Let's see. So who we got left to put in? We got some more. I know we have some. We have four more we can do. Let's get Tangula in here. Shabak. Okay, there's nothing really... Primate. Well, happy early birthday for one. Nine days from today is what day? Uh, I may not have that day off. I last year we 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 was it last year we watched Citizen Kane or was it a different year? Okay, so let's have a look at B drill real quick. So we got hmm. I want to compare B drill or sorry Vanessa side by side to Ariados. Uh, to Charlotte and see so all right so Ariados even though it's, it does have six levels on Beedrill uh, okay so Beedrill's got that glass cannon thing a lot more speed a lot more speed than Ariados uh, it's got pretty surprisingly even though there is some levels uh, Charlotte seems like she's got more defense than Beedrill. Beedrill's got really, really poor defense, surprisingly. It does have the beautiful combination, though, of freaking having both Twin Needle and Sludge Bomb. Twin Needle is like, that's 50 base power. That's not too much weaker than Signal Beam. It's got Sludge Bomb. It's got Swords Dance and Baton Pass, which is pretty nice.
I feel like being able to use both would be really cool, but at the same time, I don't really know, because neither of them are, are super good. Is it something I should consider, or do you guys think it's just kind of better to leave the team as it is? Like, do we do we prefer Ariados and Charlotte over Va over Vanessa? The idea of using Beedrill seems really cool, but I also feel like it seems like it'd be a lot of work to make it work. If it could survive a hit, Swords Dance could massacre things. And being able to baton pass them out is nice. But, like, Air Charlotte seems a little more well-rounded. She lacks the coverage, though, which is a little uh, sucks a little bit. To be fair, I think Charlotte's been fine. I, honestly, Vitro will probably still pr perform worse. But I wasn't really concerned about performance issues because it's an Ariados. It's going to be dwarfed by our other Pokemon later. Heck, even Cerberus has more attack power. Only Pokemon that Cerberus has more attack power is, is might be just Baller. Okay, well, and guard and cell, but, and cell. Okay, it does have more than cell and Doki, but they're not special physical attackers. Metal coats there. Maybe some other time, B drill. Honestly, though, I will say, giving Beedrill access to, to Baton Pass as, a, as an exclusive move is actually super cracked. Because Beedrill can get some pretty good options if it gets a chance to Swords Dance up. Like, think about it, though. Like, I think it's, I think it can learn, any, well, most Pokemon can learn Double Team, but it can also get Agility if you level up. Or, heck, even just being able to Baton Pass a Swords Dance to a Pokemon that can't buff normally is already pretty good. Speaking of which, can Ursaring Yarn bulk up? Do I have a bulk up TM? I don't. I have the Ice Beam TM I didn't use yet. I can... Ch okay, so I think we're done with Aurora Beam. Aurora Borealis has had its time in the sun. There's no reason to not teach Ice Beam at this point. It's not going to learn it, and I can get Ice Beam TMs later. Dang, Ramirez is as is hardcore, assuming I will be watching the be able to able to make time for the movie. Let's see. I say that it sounds a little negative. I I mean, I, if I can, I'll probably try to make time for it. Let's see. Do we have? I want to get it. I want to get uh, reflect. I think having reflect on Gardevoir will be better. Especially because Gardevoir needs that defense. And Protect will be a good TDM for later on, but like in the main playthrough, uh... Yeah, only Cell can learn Reflect, which is a shame. We all appreciate you, Ramirez. Let's see. Uh... I think most of my team overall is weaker to physical attacks than special attacks anyway, so I think the Reflect will be a better option. Demon Bear literally does not give give two flips about whatever attack because his attack his defenses her defenses are the same. We're probably not gonna finish through the Dark Isle tonight, by the way. I'll probably and I don't remember how long the post game is in this game, so If 
Feels like it'd be a little weird and rude to, to swap out Ariados at this point. Charlotte's done a lot, done, been there for a while on this team. I just wish I could... Okay, so I don't know if Leftovers is the best item for Charlotte. I don't know. Its defenses aren't bad. Like, I th well, actually, to be fair, I think other than Doki, it has the worst defenses of the team, so... I can't fit all those emotes. I'd like to get some more slots, but we need to get 25 subs to get a, to get another slot. And right now, I don't have anybody subbed, so. I guess that's the point where I plug. Like, well, if you guys have money to, to give me at some point, you know, the support was all would be greatly appreciated. It's a shame I can't decide for myself how much the subscription tiers cost. I'd probably just make it a dollar. I wouldn't be really uh, uh, pressed to make it super expensive. That's the reason why the emotes are really as affordable as they are. I want people to be able to have fun and use them. And if I make it so that you only have to buy them to use them, then it's just kind of loses some of its fun. Okay, so, well, alright. I guess where nothing else is going to happen right now. I was waiting to see if the spot monitor would go off, but... Uh. Alright, well. Probably shouldn't have put up this bot monitor stuff until after the main story was over. Because we're going to the rock. It's Gligar. I love this song, though. Alright, this... Sh okay. I have no drink! I keep reaching for it. I'm gonna have to go take a drink break in a second and get another one. This shouldn't be that strong. Yeah, we're good. Okay, let's swap it out. Can Glider learn? Oh, that's a weird... I don't like how that feels. I really wish Glider... Can Glider even learn Wing Attack in this generation? Can Glider... Can, has Glider ever been able to learn Wing Attack? Bro, you almost never see the single battle format ever. Oh, well, I guess I'm not sleeping it. I did not like that. Doki? We'll just continue until we get another spot monitor uh, ping. Onward with the plot. What's my team looking like? Barler and Charlotte at the front. As sad as it already feels, this is... this we're, We are... Uh... uh we are in the final area of the game. Granted, this area is freaking massive. But it's already kind of sad that we're already nearing the end of the plot. I don't know what was what was quicker. I think it's Zylan. 
You wrote that here? That's awesome! Even Mr. Varric, the world's richest man, didn't have one of those. Oh, aye. Sights the sailing man's hardly any time. We don't need to in sometime, huh? That's right, spirit of a man of the sea. I don't know if this is much of a thing, but I found this in the ship. Battle CD 31. Nice. Thanks, sir, you man. It is a long part. We will definitely be splitting this dungeon into two halves. The later will open. Fun. Oh, I like this music, huh? Dude, Cinder Dark Isle's music is actually super good. It really feels like an in-game RPG area with music like this. And weirdly enough, it kind of reminds me of, like, it gives me Final Fantasy VII vibes, the music. Oh, hello. You look suspicious. I won't let you go on. Of course I'm suspicious. I'm not supposed to be here. Happened. Nice. I love that animation. When I think of Ice Beam, that's the animation I think of when I see it. Or a little bit. Alrighty then, I'll have to be sure to have a look at it. you Ramirez I know you're not really a huge Pokemon fan but how does how has this game been in, in terms of entertainment compared to the average Pokemon game about the same is it more entertaining or more boring it's an underrated Pokemon game very underrated. I agree. I, I'm. I meant more so though about your personal enjoyment of of it so far, but that. But that's a good. That's a good opinion to have too. Because I. I agree. This game is criminally underrated. It just feels like a lot of. To be fair, a lot of games on the GameCube I feel like were criminally underrated. Bro, you messed up your own combo. I can't sleep now. There's one for the GameCube? Bro, that's what I mean. Nobody knew about any of the GameCube games that existed back in the day. Both the Pokemon games for the GameCube were honestly really good. I, I've, I've talked a lot about my love for Gen 3. And while replaying Platinum over and over has soured my opinion of Platinum a little bit. But that's more so just because of how slow Gen 3 can be on a standard playthrough. The GameCube games are just so good. Like, they're... Oh, we're going back out. Pokemon Channel. Uh, maybe it was called Pokemon... I think it was called Pokemon TV in other, in other uh, regions, though. 
So that you're probably not wrong on that. I actually have a Pokemon channel. I have two copies of it somehow. Oh, I know. A I know a game I wanted to play on GameCube during the winter time that I haven't gotten to start yet because of how bad my work schedule has been. I wanted to do po Star Fox Adventures, but for some reason, de December or winter time puts me in the mood to play two types of games: RPGs and GameCube games. For some reason, as I've gotten older. We always tend to play some kind of, of Star Fox spacey game in December. And while S Adventure is probably the least spacey of the Star Fox series, it's w it was my entry to the Star Fox franchise. Let's see, what's hanging out here at this pokey spot? It's an R. I was low-key hoping for those red eyes of the shinies. I love the dinosaurs. Do you know what's sad is when you think about it in terms of story, the Star Fox series only has like three installments, if you think about it. It has... It has Star Fox 1, which is retold in Star Fox 64, Star Fox 64 3D, Star Fox 2... And and uh, Star Fox Zero, all the same technically the same same game technically. And then after that, in terms of the story, the next one to come out, I think, in terms of story, is Star Fox Adventure. Then it's Star Fox Assault, and then it ended in Star Fox Command, and we haven't had a continuation of the series since then. And the only game we've had since Command was freaking Star Fox Zero. Which is a real big shame. Have you ever, uh, have you ever seen or played Star Fox Command, though, Ramirez? Have you ever, have you, I, like, okay. I mean, that's an opinion. Considering that, that it's really the jury is out on which, in, which ending of Star Fox Command is the canon ending... Because it has, like, what, nine different endings to it. Nine different possible endings. Like, they could have continued the series off of any of those endings and could have had a really interesting premise for a future game, and they just have not, and I don't understand why. Command's another game I want to play on stream sometimes, too. I've only ever played it one time ever. I did 100% Star Fox Command, but I have only ever played it once. Back when I was a kid on the DS. Man, that was that was a time. What do you mean? Nobody... I don't think anybody technically died in Star Fox Command, though. Or sorry, Star Fox Assault. Ramirez? There's nothing in here. This was a dead end. Okay, well, that was nothing. What are those panels on the ceiling? Oh, back to the spot monitor. Rock.
I thought they had confirmed General Pepper's, uh, g- uh, uh like, uh, like, aliveness. But, like, in Star Fox's, like, Star Fox Command, they confirmed what had happened. Because Team Star Wolf was entirely alive. And they even got a, br- I think they even got a, well, no, they didn't get a new team member. I'm thinking of a different part. Uh... But uh, they all, but they also confirmed that General Pepper lived and he retired, and Pe- and Peppy took his spot. But considering the weirdness of Star Fox Command, I don't blame you for just like. for not taking that as the only, like, solution. Paralyze, paralyze. Nope. I will agree that, uh, I will I will say the way assault ended had a bigger huge climax and it felt like a natural end in a sense for the story with the way how it ends some things left ambiguous others not but it's kind of hard to, to refute it when like command literally is there after the game and continues the story essentially and there's and there's one particular there's a few particular endings in command that feel like they could be complete finishings of the story also considering the fact that andros is like back and you kill him for the final time assumingly in command and at least some of the endings not all of them but some of them at least i think andros is in that game like the ghost or the spirit of andros possessing something i think he usually never leaves the luxo cruiser what is he up to in such a hurry Oh, I know. You chased him off. Haha, <laughs> just joking. Want to race me? Hey, Ice. How's it going? Zatu and Dodrea. It feels too forced. I mean, I guess, but Andros has found ways to come back from literal disintegration so many times. Oh, yo, Dodrio, baby! I love Dodrio. I don't think we're gonna use it, but I absolutely love Dodrio as a Pokemon. I just don't think it would fit on the team anywhere. Dodrio is one of my favorite flying type Pokemon. I haven't used it in a very long time, honestly. Probably not since my uh, my last red playthrough. By fitting in. Ice, you always fit in. Eh, yeah. <laughs> well, to be fair, Ice, there's not very many games in the series, and most of them are just the first one remade over and over and over again. Dude, Demon Bear took that hit. Roll a barrel roll! Uh-oh. Surf! Ride that surf! And this is why Waterfall is better in this game. Satu's wish came true! We take a heavy fire here! Come on, baller, get him paralyzed! Yes, got him. Boom. We 
we still ballin', bruh. Wait, actually? Oh, shoot, we got Radicate, too. We got some Gen 1ers in this in here. Radicate, honestly, I do like Radicate. I, it's, I feel like it's never truly as good as it could be, but I've always really liked Radicate. Engine water filth. What? True, Ramirez, but I guess in my, my mind, the Aperoids is such a weird f final enemy to end on for the series. One of the only times the final... But then again, the, the game, the series has been has done terrible decisions in terms of... Uh, uh, which uh, villains or, or the Pilate ones. Like, I'll never forgive what they did for uh, uh, Star Fox Adventures. I get you, Isolate. Oh, Charlotte thing, get in there. Ice has though his 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 gen bias, and I think that's honestly fine. I'm trying to buy a little bit of time for them timer balls. It's all the time that Charlotte could buy us. Well, exactly. The, the reason why Star Fox Adventures is a mess is because it wasn't supposed to be Star Fox at all. Miyamoto's like, hey, yo, let's put our Fox boy in there. He looks like Fox. Let's do that. It probably would have been a really good game, Dinosaur Planet. You want to have good games, too. Dude, Isolate's a banjo hater? Bruh, I wasn't expecting that. Bro, Dodrio, what's wrong with you? Oh, I get you. What is that? Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's it for Baller. Fire Emblem is P. I just want this Dodrio to timer ball, man. That's what I want. Give it to me. Hit the A button for luck. You don't know how much I was convinced in my childhood mind hitting the A button actually mattered, but it's a. It matters in its own way.
I have not, but that sounds hilarious. I like Saul Goodman as a character. Oh, I want to see something here, Ramirez. I want to see Ramirez's straw poll list. I want to see what he has here. Oh my goodness, you wrote a whole thing. Okay, I've not seen two of those movies. The only one I've actually seen is Kung Fu Panda 1. Can't possibly be wrong. Me in third grade. I was a Pokeball button. I always do it. And it, it. Nowadays, like, I haven't. But in these older games, it still feels like it does something. Even if it doesn't. You're pretty decent. So who are you? Huh? I guess it doesn't matter. Alright. Oh, uh, Ramirez, do you want to explain it to Isolate? Or I can do it if you want. Oasis. Weeping Bell's ready. Weeping Bell on my first playthrough of the game was was my uh, was my grass Pokemon I, I used on my team. So, uh, I I like Weeping Bell. I didn't want to, and I and, like honestly as a kid I loved Weeping Bell's cry in Red. Like the way it sound effects sounded was so good. So I always liked Weeping Bell and Victory Bell. Victory Bell is like a really good design, but I just didn't want to use Victory Bell and Weeping Bell again. But then here I am using Doki for like the whatever time on stream. So, I mean, is that any better? Oasis than Cave. Ramirez has enforced a, a new tradition of watching movies. Is that what you watched, Killer Bean, for your one of your birthdays? Okay, uh... <gasps> Yo, that's Sir Skit! It's a new Pokemon! He did more than one damage. I'm surprised. Yeah, there's no way it would live a body slam. Just go skit. Ah! <laughs> I love the video I saw of Surskit's anime cry. It's just ah, like freaking uh, Gura. Keep spitting the mud on him, baller. Can't believe this freaking mud slap has hung around so long on the move set. It's a classic. If only Sorsuka was a little bit better in Gen 3, like, you could probably use it on a team in this game. Oh, hold on. I'm not going to nickname it, because we're not going to... We're probably going to be trading it away to Duking. This is one of the three Duking trade Pokemon. Yo, the Mira B radar is appearing! And Butterfree is ready in the Purify Chamber. I really should not have put out this cheese. Pyrite Town, he's back at the Coliseum. Alright. You know what? I'm not gonna go after him right now. Should I, go, should, I, should I let him go to somewhere better? I don't know if I want to fight him in Pyrite Town. Pyrite Coliseum. Then I have to fight three other dudes I don't want to fight. I don't want Zubat. Go ballin'. I don't know.
I don't know if it'll live body slam. Let's see if we can do that. No. Whoops. <laughs> bong, bong. We're tired, and I'm like, I'm out of here. Watching D Zubat's defeat animation was worth it. Wait, I haven't caught a Zubat, have I? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, I have just I have. I have one. Not that it matters. Out of here. Out of here. <laughs> Venomoth's ready. We'll get we'll get Mirror B later. I keep getting pulled out of the final battle area over and over. I was gonna say, why is it taking so long to load? Let's see, are Razzle and Dazzle back now that the, uh... They've been kicked out of the TV stadium? Yo, look, there they are! Magician's Duo came back to the private club. I'm so happy I could cry. I'm gonna feast on all my own money, too. Oh, yeah, the Magicians are as fine as ever. So fine. Love this place. The Moochers that hang out in the Krabby Club are an uproar, saying that Mr. Verich hasn't been around lately. Where'd they come from? Where'd they go? A mysterious bunch they were. Tra -la -la -la. My dancing's got, got the edge again today. And I'm so ultimate. Who calls themselves that? Sure, we've been on TV, but that doesn't mean we've forgotten the Krabby Club. We should never we we should never forget our roots. Their pins are changing colors, I didn't even notice. The Krabby couple up in here? <gasps> Krabbies! We're on top of the world just like every other day. It's almost frightening how good I feel. I feel like I could live another one hundred years. Hold on for Pokemon 2's and means the world's best for all time. The Prius off the Krabby Club stage at the very end. Good for you guys. Dude, I'm so ultimate. <laughs> oh, their their pins do change colors. That's really cool. I also love the really pretty crystals on the stage. Dude, I I want another game like this. Oh, the spot miner's off again. I should not have put up the cheese. The rock, okay. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Yeah, I saw that new but that's super super awesome in the desert. All over ore. Strange things have been happening. What's going on with this place? I can't what Mr. Verich was all about. What? Cypher's boss? <laughs> You're pulling my leg. <laughs> eat up, eat up. They need some more heat to last up strength. Who cares if Mr. Verich is gone? I still have to eat! I like Krabby Club's music, honestly. I should... Maybe I should find that online and just make that the intermission music. Krabby Club's music is really good. Or they starting soon music. Honestly, I know most of you guys aren't actually here waiting at the starting soons, but do you prefer me just randomly picking the music? Music fo focus on the game or just a set song? Does it even matter? Sandro. <sighs> I'm trying to look for the for the rare ones so we can trade him to Duking, but I'm also just needing to catch some of them. Because we're going to need to trade uh, for Pokemon later for the post-game. Yes, King. <laughs> I do not know what you mean, Ramirez. <laughs> also, I tend to notice the wild Pokemon, weirdly enough, they don't seem to have... Bad AI, if that makes sense, or random AI. Like, they all, if they have a status move, they always seem to lead off with it. And then they just go full out assault. It's really weird to see. I've never seen a Pokemon, wild Pokemon before with actually good AI. And this is the only game, with, like, the only game that seems to do it. Better AI than the trainer sometimes. I swear, more ground types needed to be able to use use Earthquake, or learn Earthquake naturally. If you're a ground type that didn't learn Earthquake, what was wrong with you? I say that like anyone here is actually a ground type. 
That's where I actually learned that Isolate is secretly a sand shrew in real life. Which isn't true because he's a crow gunk. Um, Flygon! <laughs> right, in Mystery Dungeon, that's what you were. I forgot. Sorry. Oh, item. A Max Elixir. I'll probably never use that. Hey, what's with this goop in the tunnels? In this little, little room. She's swapping down Master Grievel's Luxo Cruiser if I'm completely lost. What's wrong with me? I've got a bucket of focus. Hey, kid, what do you say we battle? <laughs> I'm going to get a drink real quick, so I'm going to put the beer right back soon. Dude, this music reminds me of... Uh, elements of it reminds me of... Uh, what is it? Rune Factory, weirdly enough. Why are the NPCs so down to earth? I don't know, but I love them. I'm going to get a drink real quick, so I'm not going to be gone for about a minute. But I will run it out, I guess, because why not? I don't get money otherwise. <laughs>
right, I'm back. That's all longer because I happened to find the freaking A1 made a big freaking cat waste mess all over my floor. I was upset. <laughs> I had to clean that up. <laughs> it was supposed to just be a drink run. This is what happens when she stays in my room too long. Crap, I should have heated up this food. Yeah, but you guys know how annoying Eowyn is. She just stands outside the door all the time and just screams constantly and never shuts up. Eowyn does too, but she was trapped in my room too long. She had nowhere to go. She tried to keep it on top of a plastic, um, a plastic bag that was on the floor, but it doesn't help because too much of a mess. <laughs> you shook me up. I don't back talk any tough tr to any tough battler. Great, he's got. Are you good? No. Mm -hmm. All right then. I'm gonna have to freaking mop part of the floor where she made a mess. Okay, thanks for clearing that up. No, all right, even. What's this way? The, the is it going off? No, it's not. We have a moment of respite. Maybe are you someone suspicious? Jet sail? I find it weird that of all the shadow Pokemon in both games, there was never a shadow giraffe rig. They love making Johto's the, sh the shadows. It's really weird that they never did. At least I don't think they did. Traffic would have been pretty cool in a playthrough, if I'm not be if I'm be honest. Has anyone ever actually used a giraffe egg outside of Scarlet and Violet? Um, no. Exactly. Not even then. <laughs> Let's stop that brick break, baby!
Slash. It's a shame Slash is such a mediocre move in the face of things like Return. Because Slash is not a bad move at all. But, like, even back then, HMs were better than it. Like, Strength. It's the crit chance you pick it for, I guess. Part of me wants to try and use a giraffe rig. I've been thinking of playing through, not on stream, because I don't have a way to actually stream it with legitimate hardware. Part of me thought about uh, using a giraffe. Uh, part of me thinking about now about trying to use a giraffe rig for a, the Pokemon Crystal playthrough. What I'm trying to do in that playthrough, if I think I do it, will be just as many Johto specific Pokemon as I can, or at least Pokemon that evolve from Johto Pokemon. I don't know. To continue my journey of playing through the Pokemon games of the generations to replenish all the Pokemon I lost over the years. You really were someone suspicious. Oh, the mirror reader lost the signal. You have a pretty decent amount of time to do that. Alright, what's next? The Oasis again. I like how part of this, of this song incorporates the title screen uh, song. That big boom, 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 boom. No, I win. I kind of don't want to see you right now. Oh, we got another hot pip. Based. <laughs> that might be too strong for the hot pip. Yep, way too much. Whoopsie daisy. Tangilla is ready. I wonder what I, what Sora's nickname was for the Tangilla. <laughs> Eowyn, honestly, she's one of those cats that just, she has no mean bone in her body. She's just really stupid. It's like, like, even when you try to purposely annoy her, um, she just doesn't get angry. She just starts licking you. She has she has no mean bone in her body, but she just does stuff that doesn't work. Anyway, Weepin' Bell. Uh, 
uh, hentai. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, say it. <laughs> Man, how much more exclusive do you gotta be to make freaking Tankillas be worse? Wait, are we suggesting nicknames for Weepin' Bell or are we guessing nicknames for Tangula? Sucker. <laughs> Anything blowjob related works. I have an idea. I, I, I'm going to put, put together two of them. Suck a belt. <laughs> Suck a belt. <laughs> it looks silly when you say it like that. I see. What's next? Venomoth. So what we got for Venomoth? We get the Tangula, unfortunately. Venom lamp? <laughs> Venom author <laughs> in loving memory. <laughs> Where's the? Oh, I can't find the letters. Oh, it only and it just fits too. I kind of miss Venomoth's old model design. Let's see what's next. What is this? I can't even see. Oh, it's Pidgeotto. It's not flying, so I didn't know what it was with the freaking text in front of it. I forgot Pidgeotto had a standing animation. Nice over here chucking them out. <laughs> well, due to a lack of options, it sounds, or lack of suggestions, I guess auto it is. Even if it isn't. I never named this thing before. Give me a break. <laughs> it's fine with me. Don't bother me none. <laughs> Here we go. Tangula.
<laughs> oh no. <laughs> to be fair, Tangu is not actually a bad grass Pokemon in this game. If you don't mind using Solar Beam as, as, as your stab. Which, to be fair, because it gets Sunny Day and it gets Morning Sun. So it's got a pretty good set. Yeah, sorry, you gotta hit it with us now. You can't just, you can't, you've come this far. I love Tangula's old bottle. <laughs> I wonder what happens. If I name it. <laughs> if I name it. Bondage. <laughs> let's, let's go for that since that's an actual bird. God. <laughs> Doesn't have rap though, but rap sucks anyway. No, it's fun. Here's Butterfree. Delicate, sweet little Butterfree. Butterfingers. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't look like it'd be able to hold very much with those terrible little arms. I love how the bee drill was a girl and then Butterfree is a boy. We just flipping the gender rules over here. I can't fit the whole thing. Need to over here. Wait, what? Need to rare. What is that from? What's the inspiration on that one? I do not. Oh. <laughs> Finger. Butter finger. <laughs> it's your fault, you said. <laughs> but Sora didn't want to say it. To be fair, Sora didn't want to say it. You can't hold that against Sora when Sora never wanted to say it in the first place. Okay, so we got three to put in. Let me save my anti <laughs> Of course I did. It's hilarious. <laughs> no lot more six. I didn't know it. <clears throat> Probably has something to do with the cat, which makes me a little un unner like no un unnerved. Where did it go wrong? 
With Tangula, apparently. Next one, mil. <laughs> If I'm gonna name it MILF, it has to actually be a MILF. I'm sorry. <laughs> we can name Gold Duck MILF. It's the, it's a girl Gold Duck. It works. Aqua. <laughs> Aqua's no MILF. Not yet. <laughs> Alright, where was where were we at in here? The spot monitor hasn't let us get out of the first room yet. Mother God How many times this doesn't count? I mean I guess technically it could. Tech I you know what, whatever. <laughs> we'll allow that. I guess it depends on wh well to be fair, when a character doesn't seem to uh, be confined by the typical time constraints, I guess it doesn't matter, does it? I guess, I guess technically it does count. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> it depends on the universe and timeline. That's true. Tokopi. <laughs> Tokopi is not the milk. <laughs> that Tokopi is also a boy. Okay, uh, I think it was the rock spot. Fritz this Goliagar. <laughs> Mills are a different category altogether, I isolate. Sora is very true on that one. It's the truth. Then you're in! <laughs> Let's see. Um, I don't really want Gligar, but again, I need to catch Pokemon. Why does it wake up? to be caught and then goes back to sleep. Go away, Owen. You're banned. You're banned! I'm not into mills. <laughs> I don't know, Sora. I remember the reaction you had when you saw Aqua by, uh, by with Art Aqua. I think you're in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, where was they going about to go? I got distracted by MILF Aqua. What? The starting soon art for, uh, for Fire Emblem Three Houses that had the the Aqua dressed up as Byleth. I still remember I saw his first reaction to it. Join the club. <laughs> Yo, it's okay. Kawako abs are attractive. Well, she's a MILF and she has abs, therefore you're in. <laughs> the amount of training that Aqua does in, in her everyday life, she would probably totally have abs. What up? 
Sora desperately wants to get out. I'm not that into MILFs either. But one of us. Okay. Uh-oh, you are that little boy who ran off with Professor Crane. It's Lavarina. Because of what you did, Master Griffith was oh so angry. He made everyone miserable and it's so all your fault. But it's okay now. We don't need Professor Crane anyway. I just need to be serious to get the tiny, a little tiny bit just to get XD001's final adjustments just right. M knock off Miku. Pink Miku. It is so perfect now. Perfection will so not work on it ever. I'm so amazed because I am so a genius. Oh, you want to see my XD001? Oh, so sorry. That is so not possible. Why? Because mm -hmm. I'm not. I am going. I am so going to defeat you, little boy. Here I come. <laughs> it's freaking. She does kind of look like her. This is the top research scientist of of Cypher now. Get out of here! Here. Yo, Rosalia, what's up, my girl? That's a boy, never mind. Uh oh. Ice Bunch. <laughs> Lizard. Get him! Psychic attack! Good thing that's special. <laughs> exactly. I forgot Gardevoir could learn the punches. It's a shame they're not usable on it anymore. Man, Gen 3 was a time. Yo, Farfetch! Yo, this floor did the whole Gen 1 bird special in here. All four of the Gen 1 birds were here. Altaria. Yo, we're Shadow Altaria. There to come, there to come. Okay, so how am I gonna do this? I guess I'm thinking of the common Kanto birds. <laughs> uh oh, that's not good. Oh god, that's a lot of confusion. I saw this four hour Xenoblade theory today. <laughs> we are not dealing with confusion today. Uh oh. Woo! 
Oh no, not Shadow Sky. Wait, wait, what? Lightning in your hair. What? Ice, what have you done? <laughs> oh, wait, VIP. <laughs> Baller, get him. I didn't think that would work either. VIPs are against the rules. Mm, try again. That's what's a defense, the reflect up. Ah, frick me! You didn't say anything. Okay. <laughs> Bro, this thing stop spamming your shadow mist. <sighs> Dude, this is a bad combination over here. Yes, Rico? Kaboo. Oh, no. Out of there. This isn't good. I'm being walled by your shadow Pokemon. Thank God the shadow sky is gone. Frick! Killed him.
All right, sing him to sleep, Doki. I can't get back to place it with my mother's accent. My Emil accent is with you. I love the fact that Nimbus made it a return in this game again as a Shadow Pokemon for twice in a row. A villainous hero or heroic villain? I mean, I guess it really just depends on, on who's stronger, doesn't it? In terms of writing, I think both have very interesting passes for uh, what would be a good story. He caught that in his sleep! I actually didn't think we were going to get that. Uh, in terms of writing, who would win? Uh, I don't think there's a definitive answer, but I think a more interesting premise would probably be... I feel like villainous heroes are portrayed as winners more than uh, heroic villains, I guess. Or... Hold on, I think I got that backwards. Swap that around, I mean. I, I think? I don't know. Oh, boo. Now look what you've done. Ah, oh, you're terrible. I mean, really. Master Grivel will be also cross with me again. Oh, how dislike you. I'm, I'll be glad, little boy. Master Grivel and XD001 make you pay. She's gone. Yay! Oasis again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the Wave Bird really is a really good controller. I feel like I haven't used the, like the plat. The other one I had, the bootleg one, was doesn't even feel nearly as nice. It's like just a GameCube controller in its prime. It just feels like a really good controller to have. I just hate that this this button's like toggle stick or tr trigger thing is just scratched. I think in terms of writing, like, if we're talking maybe villains that become heroes, those are all more interesting than, I guess, heroes that become villains in a sense, depending on how they're written. Though there was recently a game I played that had a hero that became a villain, and it was done in such a beautiful way that it was so well executed, so. Oh, it's okay, it's Hop Hip again. <laughs> Oh, it's Cell. Whoops. <laughs> he ruined... It was great. Peak modern existential anti-hero. <laughs>
Those can still be interesting, I suppose. What is this person's alignment? <laughs> That's always a good question to ask. I tried to write. I tried to write Craven in a sense where he kind of feels like, he, depending on who who you ask, he was an anti-hero, whereas in the fact that his motives are still rooted in pure like racism in a sense. He's a great dude to the people that uh, uh, he cares about, and not to everyone else, I guess. It's Zubat again. Zubat. I guess it depends on, on one's definition of anti-hero. Some people have different ones. That, that does sound pretty interesting, though, Sora. The fact that you can't narrow that down it makes, just means they're a very complicated character, and that's honestly pretty interesting. Ugh, only if Leech Life was, like, like modern games. Man, the first time I ever saw newly buffed Leech Life was just a massive, like... Like, whoa moment for me. Like, in this generation, Jubat's just no good till it gets a wing attack, it feels like. But I miss Zubat's old kind of design. There's something about it. I mean, it's not that much different in modern days, but it's different enough to me. I just like the old models, that's it. It's it might be a form of nostalgia, but... That's also, like, my first example of how these Pokemon were supposed to look. And to me, that was a big deal. This is one of the reasons why Citadel Isle takes a long time to get through. Back to Citadel Dark. I'm not replenishing the. I probably could go to Duking and trade the, the Surf Skin, but we can wait for later for that. We're not going to be using any of the Pokemon that he gives us on the team anyway. So to be fair, Meditate is a pretty tempting answer, tempting choice. Okay. Also, something I didn't think about yet. I have Earthquake. I haven't taught it to anyone yet. But only Demon Bear and Baller can learn it. Also, I think I finally remember to take the Demon Bear emote out of uh, out of the out of the emote rotation. So I think we'll replace it with whatever way I had, to, had it was in there before. Our Harvest Moon emotes are done for now. I didn't. Never mind. I'm a liar. I'm a liar and a charlatan. Always be gonna make your flaws evident. <laughs> At least somebody cares. I feel like these areas felt way bigger as a kid. Like we still have a good ways to go, but this was like technically the first area of Sita Dark Isle. The first floor. This area was really cool. It's really bizarre, too.
the Whirlpool Room. This is a proper research facility, sweetie. A little guy like you shouldn't be in here. Bastille. Yo, we got some big boys in here. Accuracy boost is accuracy boost is just so good. Of course, cell flinched. Slash before air slash existed. We had air cutter. Oh, Chameco. attack. Uh-oh. Don't get no! Not good. Bring in the demon. I love that evolution is all it took for Cell to start being able to do some work. Of course it's Masquerade and it's Intimidate. Uh-oh. Take this Thunderbolt! Didn't lose! See A one at the corner of my eye trying to jump up the window to get my attention, and she's still in timeout. I wonder if there is truly a way to make Chimeco viable. Like, it just makes me wonder if there's a way to make Chimeco usable. I'm sorry for losing so easily! Like, what would you do? What would you do? What would you do to be able to make Chimeco usable? I feel like in a double battle game, Chimeco could see some use as, like, a support and maybe a cleric. I can't remember if Chimeco learns Heal Pulse in, other, in the later games or not. Well, the Spotify playlist does have something to do with Sora's story that, that uh, she's writing, right? So, I mean, like, maybe. Ah, okay. So, more so, you're asking for... 
on your on opinions on how to craft characters in your story. That's an interesting way to do it. What the hello, Doctor? Can we rejoin? We can generate even bigger waves this way. Isn't it great? Dude, why is there a bed in here? In a what? Oh, Mirror B has appeared. Didn't take him long. Relgum Tower. Okay. Alright, let's go to Relgum Tower. We can do that. Our box ready. I'm getting much closer to finishing the current chapter I'm working on for the guild story, by the way. Because I know you guys are the ones that were major ones that are reading it. And, uh, spot monitor. And, uh, oasis. Okay. Um, it might end up being the biggest one so far. I probably could have split it into two chapters, but I was also combining... Uh, the filler, the filler chapter I was writing with Ramirez is the focus, along with the next element of story plot. And I'm realizing all the things I wanted to do in one chapter, it'll just take too long. But it also doesn't feel like a good, way, good spot to separate the story. So I'm probably just gonna go ahead and make it a little bit of a bigger one, which does help justify the weight. It'll almost feel like two stories in one, or two chapters in one. Which was, in a sense, kind of what I was going for anyway. Because I realized the, the filler idea I had for Ramirez's filler chapter wasn't enough content for a full chapter, so that's why I started combining them. Huh, was, was that? Dude, even Munchlax is in this game. Oh, hello, old lady. Oh no, don't you do that! I take my eyes off you for one second and off you run like this! I guess I sleep, but still. Oh no, no, you ate these pokey snacks, didn't you, you naughty child? Have I told you harshly enough to never touch what doesn't belong to you, you little glutton? The pokey snacks that were here, were they yours? I am so sorry. I hope they saw the pokey soup snacks you've lost. Oh, nice. That was not even nearly as many. But thanks. It's not much, but here's something for your trouble. Energy powder. You see, I'm an herbalist. I was retired, but I got the urge again to carry on as before. And so I've been traveling all over, collecting ingredients for my trade. You will isolate? Oh, that's exciting. Where did you leave off? Do you remember? You know what? I could have been writing here to play. <laughs> And so I've been traveling all over, collecting ingredients for my... Tr oh, I see that already. I'm terribly sorry to have caused you trouble. I will talk sense into this little gutton, so please accept my apology. That's fine. Yeah, you apologize too. <laughs> Bro, the fa Dude, the... the co uh, where did they get the cry information all that stuff? That sounds a little bit like an early version of the sound. But it is the same much like sound. I saw my way as upstairs at the book in my mom to Gaetion Port. This frost arc? Ah, uh, okay. If you visit Gateon Port, please come by to see us. Dal, please excuse us. A little scamp of a bunch likes. Okay. Relgum Tower next. Mirror B is waiting for us there. I don't blame you. You're the rice late. Like it's it. it I, I when I started reading rereading some of my own stuff just to kind of see if it still holds up and just kind of I read it from time to time to refresh myself on things. Uh, and I realized, man, you know what? It was it. Oh, excuse me. It was uh. They were lo they took longer to read than I remembered. Plus, I'm still having some trouble getting through Ramirez's story. I haven't had time. To pick it back up since before Christmas. To what, Ramirez? Popo Valley? <laughs> uh, 
Unrelated to thick get in the way. Ah, I see. <laughs> and causing money, let's put one gather here. We need it for us to do our jobs. Wait a second, are you thinking of making Coliseum Challenge? Don't do it. It's not worth the time. Army of B is in there right now. If you want to win the challenge better, next would be better. I'm going to save just because the poke the challenges in here are a little tough. Oh, I can earn Pokey Coupons? How? Gather <laughs> That's fair. Like, lately I've been having a hard time writing because I've been spending my free time playing uh, games. I haven't done much of that as much lately. I've been playing uh, through Yakuza 0 right now. Uh, this is where the climax of the first game took place. Oh, Mira B's in round one. All right. Yo! Hey, baby, not you again. This time I'm not going to forgive you, baby. What a place to fight him, too. Dude, I would be hyped if this guy was in my, my battle arena. That's also understandable, Sora. They're level 40, though. They're going to be a tougher challenge in here. Oh, God. Ice punch. Ew, you seated cell. Bro, Ludico is a tank, brother. Oh, it's one of those sets. Waterfall, bro. This Lombre's kind of got a cracked move set. Dude, Mirror B's waistline is so small. Yo, the cell's gone. Hey, yo! <laughs> what a hit!
There's that Sableye. Thunderbolts! Dang it, Charlotte. Ugh. Dude, I feel like Doki and Sableye are both around a similar size and they'd have an interesting scrap. Thunderbolt! Oh, Doki takes that. Page, f page five of what? Ten? That's what we were ready to write. Ten. She did her job. Oh, gotcha. Bro. Doki, Doki, literature club. Yo, I've been static. It's on Wake already? Just Monica. <laughs> Alright, well, the only way to status it now is with Lick. Dude, I love Sableye. I just wish he was good. Come on, Demon Bear, I need you to lick that. A story about what, specifically? You might as well tell it, I slate share with the class. Dude, that's three in a row. I used to think that too, because of its typing. Thirty levels of the rest of the party. <laughs> this guy's really strong. <laughs> the power of suggestion on that one, my friend. Gross watching Urs. Imagine Ursaring a thing like of that size, a bear, just grabs you that tiny little sleigh blight and just starts licking it with its hands. Yo, that's what we wanted, baby. If the timer ball doesn't work here, I don't know what will.
Alright, bye bye Mirror B. See you later. <laughs> exactly, Isolate. Oh, you know what that reminds me, Isolate? The fact is that I saw this on Twitter the other day. The fact that when the when the DLC dropped and Blastoise finally returned, uh, they actually fixed t Hydro Pump's animation in the Scarlet and Violet DLC, where he fires Hydro Pump from his cannons for the first time since Battle Revolution. Oh yes, Ramirez, that's been the gimmick of this whole game. Like, the Shadow Pokemon are Pokemon that we have to save from the villain team, and since you can't normally get other trainers' Pokemon, you need a machine to steal them. Yo, Ma Wile. Dense Lord. Yes, yeah, that's the synopsis of it. I thought it was legal now. Oof. I really wish Mawile was better. I really do like Mawile. It's just a shame that the games don't like Mawile. I guess Mawile got better in later gens, but like, it still doesn't evolve. No Medic Evolution anymore. So, I mean, I feel like Mega Illusion was a great way to fix Pokemon like Mawile, but then as soon as the gimmick is over, they're not fixed anymore. They're just garbage. It's a shame. We bought it. Rock slide. Right, exactly. Dude, his animation is still playing. Uh oh. Take this, Thunderbolt. All right, Ramirez, you have a good night, man. I'll be streaming tomorrow, so we, we, I will see you guys then, hopefully. I have three days off this week, so we'll have an extra stream sometime this week. Psychic Blast! Yes, argument one! Rahorn. If this high horde has water, has a uh, lightning rod, I will be I will be impressed. It does. Dang game. Okay. Dude, all these dudes got all these rock sliders. Of course, I flinched. Icy wind?
Yo, get paralyzed, nerd. Thank goodness for Water Pulse. Baller's got a lot of TM investment, though, if not, they haven't realized it. The way it's just. Should do for pe for peer. I plan to take away your speed. Didn't work. You only did it once. I feel like you get to my fa fabulous combo move. Okay, random girl. Allison. Sandstorm. Oh no. Bro, I forgot that it actually turned to a rock. Why does Scas form not have a sandstorm form? I've never understood it. It doesn't have a sand form form. I've never understood why. Free hates it? I guess, but then if you hate it so much, why create it in the first place? I feel like Game Freak has never liked Sandstorm. Man, freaking... Even String Shot wasn't a bit faster than the other Pokemon. Doki, don't miss with the never miss move. I love how I'm stuck here, because I've got rare bees, Pokemon, I have to finish this whole gauntlet. Magnitude 7. Uh-oh. No! Critical hit? That's so dangerous to use on a tower arena. Like, come on.
Bro, she wasted cast form on a magnitude. Oh, that character is coming right into death. Blasted him! Or her. Oh no. It's super effective. Sack that bean bag. All right, no more sandstorm. You can't do that forever, buddy. was knocked him out I don't remember Doug Trio being able to learn Screech but I guess I'm just misremembering I thought it was a perfect combo. Alright, final battle. Teach you how awesome bird Pokemon can be. Oh no, it's Faulkner. It's an interesting pair to lead off with. No. <laughs> Oh no. Double sky attack. I can't beat them both in one turn. Big hit. Charlotte's out. One shot, one kill. Honestly, Sky Attack's such a cool move. It's a shame it just never gets to gets be seen very much. Because it's just not a very good move. Two-turn moves are always hard to justify. I do not know if we told him. Probably not. I think Ice is still here. I think he just like he just he just gets into recliner mode. Steps out. Knock to owl. 
Man, a Pokemon I've always wanted a shiny of for the longest time has always been knocked out. Like, Psychic especially Riker. since in the anime and how cool it looks in the anime. Psychic attack! I can't, I couldn't hear that in real life, though. Oh, though that was ice doing that. Oh no. Ooh, the miss. You're gonna use agility now? Controller just randomly seems to die at times. Mauler wants to learn rest. Nah, I think we're good. And snore. Yeah, I'm gonna go snore too. Giving up two move slots for that combo is not that great. I lost the battle, but do you understand how awesome bird Pokemon are now? I have a slightly more respect for sky attack than I did before. I really, 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 really wish that move was better. TM49. I don't remember what TM that is. If only freaking Sky Attack was a little bit... Was either... was had a Snatch? Bro, I can even forget that move exists. Prime Apes ready. <laughs> There's that reaction. God, I love jazz. <laughs> God, was Jerry Seinfeld was real. <laughs> okay, so what moves do I get from the move trainer? Cave. All right, I'll head over there in a second. She's key just sky attack. A power of 140 is really solid. That's like attacking with 270 power moves in one turn. So it's, or in two turns, 270 power. So it's like, it's better than doing Sky Attack, sorry, Aerial Ace twice, an example. So it's like, Sky Attack, at least over Razor Wind, Sky Attack at least has the power to back up its two turn justification. And if you get a power herb, that's even better. Cave and rock, okay.
This Pokemon, where's it from now? It's Munchlax again! I mean, heck, it's free, it's free Poke Snacks, I guess. Energy Root. Pretty uncommon to run into him twice the same time. Please forgive us. I don't think he's sorry. She had Crocs. Not the cheese. That's just another Sand Drew. Let's ball. At least this was a really high level. Big Steppy. It's Andrew's animation kind of reminds you of like a sumo type of thing. I always really liked Sandshrew and the Sandshrew line. Sandshrew and Sandslash are always really cool Pokemon to me. Never really used them because ground types, if he didn't learn Earthquake naturally, were just kind of bupkis. I remember using one in Gen 5. It might have been a bad natured one or something because man did its attacks always seem to suck. And I use it in black and white too. But I didn't really enjoy it. It was rock and earthquake all the time, and then it would swap between X Scissor and Rock Slide. It, I, it was pretty good in coverage, I think. I just don't remember it being very effective. Which is a shame. Okay, are we done with that? I think we're done with that. I feel like even if any other spot monitors went off, I wouldn't be able to get to them in time. We've been going for like three hours, but it feels like I've gotten almost nothing done. We only just got to the second area of Citadark Isle. That's what we've been doing this whole time. That's why this area feels like it takes forever, because there's so many trainers and so many shadow Pokemon. Because most of these fights wouldn't be so bad if you didn't have to worry about getting Pokemon for them. Basically, nearly all the rest of the Shadow Pokemon in the game are here, though. There's not very many Pokemon left in the game that aren't here. I don't think I'll make it, but I'll try. Yeah, but like I was saying earlier, hopefully everyone that has been watching this series does, series does find it enjoying, uh, uh, does find it enter sorry, entertaining. I was really hoping to show off this game at some point, because I know not as many people really know a whole lot about it, because it's one of those obscure GameCube games, and it's just like... A lot of people didn't really know this game ever came out, because a lot of people slept on the GameCube back in the day. I guess even Pokemon fans did. Ah! Oh, we made it to a hot pip in time. I've been put on blast. What a burn. Yeah, you're on fire. Yeah. I couldn't hear it. What the frick? Roasted a lot. Dude, freaking the hop hip over here with its sleep powder, pretty good though. I love anima its animations, it's so cute. Fire! Oh, goodness, that one was loud. Oh no. 
the way the stun sport has those electrical sound effects and particles coming out of them is just so funny to me. It's not even... Dude, now it's going for poison powder. Probably didn't need to put it to sleep for the net ball, but a nest ball, but Let's see if the spot monitor goes off before I get to, to, to Citadark again. Or get into where I was before again. The freaking Kyogre boat is so cool, though. Robo Kyogre is so cool. I really, really, really wish... Not a day goes by that I wish they hadn't continued with this line of Pokemon games. Because they were just so cool. They weren't too long that they overstayed their welcome. They gave you an interesting challenge with the double battle system being the primary way you play. I, I wish we could do that again. And not in the form of a freaking DLC where you've already played through the adventure. Like, having to play the entire game and actually building teams around the entire game's double battle mechanics sounds really fun. It makes some Pokemon that aren't normally viable in a single player playthrough... Like, really viable, like Fortress, for example, or Pokemon that are purely support Pokemon. Like, Doki in here is even doing pretty good with its moves, and here we go. I knew that was gonna happen. Like, it has a good level of difficulty, it has... Like, the areas are really cool and creative of what, you, what we have seen. I feel like if they were allowed to have made more games, they would have been really good. I really, really wish they had done something in Battle Revolution. Could you imagine if Battle Revolution had actually had a, a some some type of single player mode like this? Because this would have been really I, I say really really cool over and over again. But like it would have been imagine though take let's uh, let me think about that for a second imagine being able to play through a single player game maybe even double battle style for all of them or just picking your style at the beginning of the game if you wanted to do it that way. But then combining that with the ability to create your own protagonist like you could in, in uh, Battle Revolution, where you could make your own trainer out of six different trainer classes. Imagine being able to do that for an actual mainline, or maybe not mainline, but an actual story mode based Pokemon game. That would have been really, really cool. And I really wish we had gotten to do it. Maybe in some other parallel universe we got it. Another Zubat. Imagine if freaking a whole store, a whole gameplay mode focused on, rot on rotation battles. That would have been an interesting gimmick. <laughs> interesting gimmick. I mean, the game, the game here is incredibly battle-heavy, and I guess that's kind of what you would expect, right? But, like... Alright, last one, I think, of today. I didn't get to it in time. They don't think I did. Yeah. Oh well. Try to get a little more through Citadel Archive before we call it a day for today.
I'm not sure if tomorrow I'm gonna do uh, the Ace Attorney or if I'm gonna do do that like on Friday. Cause I think I, I have Friday off again today this week. I the rotation battles are the, are the most fun in terms of like a gimmicky thing. I like them better than triple battles. But if they were going to make a gameplay mechanic based off of one of the battling things, I feel like they would probably do triple battles to justify their existence a little bit more. And because it's less of a random element, you have to actually carefully pick where uh, you place your Pokemon in those fights. Imagine having gameplay mechanics where you actually have to spend a Pokemon's turn swapping their position. I feel like you have a lot more mind game potential in that test, in those type of scenarios. But say, if you could also do something, say, like, preventing the, po the opponent from rotating would be an interesting gameplay mechanic. Got a good ways going in today from the island. It keeps others away. Isolated is, ho is how we want to stay. <laughs> Whirlpool is greater when the water currents collide. Try when you get a bath. <laughs> Thanks, random dude. We don't get to see too many kids here. You child one of our research people. Responsible for keeping you sitting in our guile ringed with our vicious waves. Makes this place it's not easy for ships to approach in the dark. Bro, they really just they really just think that like bro, someone's like, oh, someone just brought their kid to work today for our evil organization. Could you imagine? Some five balls. We researchers are honored and happy to serve Master Greville. Our research funding is more than generous, and it's incredibly fun to create giant waves. The job of the research people is to conduct research, but that's not our job. To terrify people into the pits of despair through battling, that is our purpose. With that clear vision, we are not about to lose. Grayson? That's not how you say it, say it fell it, but alright. Smooshy flamethrower. My brain thought, oh no, what if Sandslash is the Shadow Pokemon? Then I realized, wait a minute, you can catch Wild Sandslash. That's not gonna be Sandslash. I love how much personality um, Saul's design has. It's just so simple, but I love it. Why is Absol the slowest one on the battlefield, though? What? Go to design, right? Right, I like how in this game it's all like there's something about the way Absol's design is done in the GameCube specifically that it's also just it's really nice compared to the rest of its of, of iterations. Like it's got the right amount of fluffiness to it for its model, which is really a weird comment to make, but it's not one that you see in, in modern Absol. Modern Absol just looks too smooth, it doesn't look furry or fluffy. Like it's got a fine fur coat. Unless it mega evolves. Has Absol even even been in any of the games in the Switch? I mean it has to have been in at least one. And I think in Diamond and Pearl's remake at the very least. I don't know if it's been in the other ones. Was Absol in the DLC? I'll have to take it talking big. How humiliating. Yeah, get out of here. Cartwheel away. Nerd. Two pro restores. I should probably go buy health items at some point, but I also just have access to walking backwards to the healing machine. Who are you, babe? 
I'm gonna change my mo change into my white lab out. <laughs> I'm gonna change into my white lab outfit. So don't come in. Promise me, okay? Okay, bye. Right in the middle of putting the finish touches on our shadow Pokemon plan. We don't need your meddling. Litnar. <laughs> That's true. If you had been in, in Scarlet and Violet's main mode, I'm sure you would have used it. The Pokemon that didn't get into Scarlet and Violet baffled me. Like, I get the fact that the Rosalia line, for example, has been in every other Switch title except Scarlet and Violet, but it's just so weird to just omit it. You probably could have just put it in and it would have been fine. You already had the models made for Arceus. Electro using a facade just looks stupid. No, I, I mentioned uh, the Rosalia line for, for about Arceus. I'm gonna check real quick, actually. I just thought it was weird that Pokemon that were made in Arceus did not get to come into Scarlet and Violet. Let's see. I forgot how cool that Mega Absol looks. Okay, Absol was in Sword and Shield. It, it was in the DLCs of those games, and it was in Diamond. And, it was in the Diamond and Pearl remakes as an underground Pokemon. It did not appear in Arceus, and it did not appear in in Scarlet and Violet, which is a shame. <laughs> I think it's weird that anything that was in Arceus didn't come to Scarlet and Violet. That's just so bizarre to me. They went, they had the models made. Why would you just not? I don't understand. You're so close to having every almost everything in one game. Just go the extra mile and put them all in something so I can have a main hub Pokemon game again. Kangaskhan. Oh god, Kangaskhan's the shadow. It's the first time we've seen Kangaskhan in this game. Kangaskhan's honestly kind of menacing. I've never used it as, in a playthrough, though. Oh god. These animations are crazy. I get sick of having team members that aren't going to be able to be in other Pokemon games because of the of these weird choices they like to make. Bayonet. We got Shadow Bayonet. I talked a little while ago about how much I think Bayonet sucks in Gen 3.
Okay, Sora, you have a good night. I don't know if we're gonna get to the next area boss today because of how slow this is going, but... Really, King is gone? It's got insomnia, of course it does. You trapped me in here with you now. Honestly, this is probably one of the easiest ways, I think, in Gen 3 to get Kangaskhan, because otherwise you gotta do, like, the Safari Zone and whatnot. Well, it's poison, so I don't have to give it a status problem now. Should be able to get it now. I'm gonna go for the for the ultra ball. Let's not mess around on it. It's kind of weird to think that I just really never really have been a big fan of the ultra ball design. But like at the same time, there's something I don't know. Maybe it's just the nostalgic of it. But it's like there's something both good and bad about the design of the ultra ball to me. Whoa, you're seriously too much. Kangaskhan and Bayonet. Gold Duck is ready. Who <laughs> can Gold Duck Mel Flinger? Ah, the next area. Okay. Down with Syphit Egan of Fike Village. Down with Cypher, you're gonna be gay pillar. Repeater, hello, this is my first email. I'm sorry I sent that empty message by mistake. So apologize for the misspellings. I am embarrassed to be I am embarrassed by these mistakes and what Email text is cut off. 
What does Egan want? We might move on to the next area next time, then. We've gotten through two areas of City Dark Isle. Uh, so we've made some progress. I feel like we didn't get as much progress done as we could, but I also at the same time I'm not rushing to get through this game, so but we'll probably be done with the story by the next the next stream of this game. And then we'll probably be able to tackle the the post game. I miss the simple things of, like, having all the Pokemon in one game. I really hope w one day we can get back to that, but I feel like they're never going to do it now. They got away with it long enough that they're just, it's not gonna, there's no more repercussions to, to, to have at that point. I get that eventually it was probably just gonna be too unfeasible, but, like, I don't know, man. Do the Coliseum method and port the models. Sure, they won't be consistent, but if we get to play with them, I don't think anyone would care. If they're not even made wild naturally, their models have very little significance to be as super fleshed out as as they could be, you know? I don't think anyone would be upset, like especially if they want to sing the praises of the freaking models from the uh uh the 3DS era cuz man, they loved those models for the longest time. They were still in the Switch generation. If only the old games just worked with modern hard hardware, then I'd just battle doing those. But, you know, we can't all have it the way we want it. Oh, Rumtato, how goes it? Were my emails getting through to you? No. Oh, that is odd. Am I sending the email to the wrong address? Oh, wait. I didn't mean to stay in line. Oh, very good. I'll keep sending you words, my words of encouragement by email then. Okay. Husband and mechanical devices aren't a good fit. Whenever he sends you an email, he sits down with the instruction booklet and refers to it constantly. Oh, okay. I thought he had, like, something to give me or something. And Baller's almost almost going to fall. I think Baller's, like, what, three levels away? I'm excited for it. Might be the first. Uh, there's a Pokemon, a couple of Pokemon that have over 100 in, in their offensive attacks, offensive stats. Baller's been uh, rocking mediocre for a while, but it's got good HP to 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 balance it out. Oh, excuse me. Uh, again, I'm not sure there's any reason or necessary thing to uh, to do any more off-screen grinding. I don't really need the coupons. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do some of it. Uh, I don't know. We'll 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 see what happens. Okay, these are like all still in the process. I'll worry about that later. Hello, Nurse Aqua. I don't need to heal with you right now. I just hang out with you and chat for a while, if that's good with you. So we'll save then here for today. Uh, if I do any at all grinding, I might stream it. But I'm not planning on doing any more grinding until the next stream. Um, tomorrow will be our next stream. I actually happen to have tomorrow off as well, for anyone who's still here. Uh... Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm going to stream yet. We might continue uh, Ace Attorney, but I might do one of the 
Harvest Moon games. We haven't really played any a, a little bit, not since Harvest Moon Month for the most part. Part of you wants to play a little more Wonderful Life, and the part of me was like, you know what, I haven't played Harvestella since Harvest Moon Month, and I want to play that again some too. So that might be the third stream this for this week. So I just don't know if I'm going to do it tomorrow or whatever, but we'll find out. But thanks for joining me, guys. Um, I will attempt to try and finish up the final dungeon area next time. I think if we get enough up of a start, four hours should be plenty of time to do it and get it and get that finished. But have a good night, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow for the next stream. Bye bye and have a good one. You, Miss Hawk, we're gonna have a talk. Word on the street is your time traveling milf. I have questions. <laughs>